Hi everybody, this is your plus size fashionista. So I'm coming here today with a simple DIY. This is a no sew method converting a pair of regular pants into joggers. So all you need is these simple things. You need your hot glue gun sticks, preferably the ones for fabric, but you can get the multi-purpose ones as long as it has fabric somewhere on there I got this from Walmart for about three something um, you're going to of course need your hot glue gun you're going to need a pair of scissors you're going to need the elastic you, I also got this from Walmart I think it was like a dollar something and they come in different widths so whatever width you would enjoy that's up to you and of course you're going to need a pair of pants so the pants I chose I got these from the thrift store you know how I like to do and I got a pair that that already had the elastic on the waist now the whole purpose of the joggers is because they switched the name from sweatpants sweatpants sound so icky you know what I mean but joggers does sound stylish so uh, what better way to convert a regular pair of pants by having elastic already at the waist? So this is what it looks like at the bottom. It's just a regular straight leg pants. So what we need to do is turn these pants inside out. And don't forget when you're choosing the pants, depending on how you want your jogger to fit, I prefer to have mine a little bit oversized, so I make sure that I got a, a couple sizes up from my normal size. So this is what the pants look like on the opposite end. So we're going to take our elastic. Now I already measured the elastic around my own ankle, and that's what you need to do. You want to you want to measure one piece around your ankle so that when you hot glue gun it, it overlays itself like this but not too tight will it will hurt your ankle you get me and then once you do that you just overlap it and then you could cut the same exact size for your second piece and these come in different widths they also come in black if you need them to um but this size is simple for me so what we want to do is this is the front of the pocket so I want to make sure that I glue this together first so I'm t and make sure that you protect your surfaces so what I'm doing is I'm making a nice circle spot and I am overlapping that circle spot like that tap tap and just hold it for a few seconds please be careful because the hot glue gun and the hot glue is hot you don't want to burn yourself so please use caution and this is what it look like when it's together so now I want to take this elastic and I want to stick my pants through the elastic circle that's why it's good to measure it so that this is not too tight around your ankle where it's going to hurt and all I'm basically doing is just bringing the pants through so I want to I want to leave a little bit of space but not too much so this is what it's going to look like before you start gluing your material down I want to make sure that overcross is in the back of the slacks but it don't really matter so let's get into it we're going to fold this over like this and then we're going to hot glue it all the way around and you'll see that as you're doing it it's going to gather so and you can also put it on the glue so don't put too much because it might soak through the fabric so I'm just starting with a little section and put in an putting a few scripts and scraps there and like I said I want a little bit of space in between that seam and this and I'm tapping it tapping it down and you just keep on going just a little bit through the whole way, whole spans of the elastic and I'm just bringing the material down 
and tamping it. And you just keep going. You start where you finish that. All I'm doing is spreading it out over the space of the elastic and I am just tapping it down. I always have extra glue sticks ready because sometimes it goes so fast and I'm tapping it down. So for added security, because it's all caught on to the elastic, but for added security, you have two things you could do. You could cut off the excess or you could tap down the excess. And I choose to cut it off. So I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to slowly... <laughs> I am going to cut the excess off. Okay, so I cut off the excess, as you can see, all the way around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that these don't roll up. So I'm just going to check for the underside and tap that down too. So it is a good idea to do the underside too because you don't want it to roll away. It will roll away. And we don't want that. So we want to be able to do both sides. And ooh, please be careful not to put too much because you don't want it to pull through the other side of the fabric. So as you can see, I'm... I'm putting some on the underside of the elastic and I'm doing the same thing I did on the other side. I'm just tapping it down and I'm going to keep on going. Parts on the underside that's not looking like it's going to hold down. You just glue it. Go around and, and you know, because you want, you don't want the stuff to come apart. So you just want to make sure that you're tacking everything down so that it won't rise up during your washing. Because the when you get the fabric kind, you're, you are able to wash the clothes without fear of it being messed up because of the glue. All right, so the glue has cooled off, and this is what the finished project looks like. This is what the bottom of the pants look like, and see, by me not doing, by me measuring my ankle, um, where it's overlapping, even with all this extra material, as you can see, I'll still be able to get my foot through there nice and comfortably. And when you're tacking it around the elastic, you see how it's gathered just like joggers are gathered at the bottom or whatever. So I will show the finished project um, with a, a styled look at the end of the video so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting my channel if you love seeing DIYs like this very simple and easy then you need to thumbs up this video and you need to give me a high five because I did a good job bye guys